Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Malone Downloader J-Style Kayak Carrier here on our 2021 Audi Q7. Now you can get this with or without the load assist, so if you don't need it, you can just pick up the downloader and it's going to work fine on its own. But that Telos load assist system is going to just hook into these front slots right here on your carrier and give you an easy way to lift your kayak up into place. The Q7 is a taller vehicle here, so especially after you've been out on the water paddling, you're gonna be tired. Lifting that boat up above your head and getting it into here is gonna be difficult. So having the extra help, you don't have to support that weight all the way on your own, is gonna be a big deal. Let's check it out. Now with the downloader being a J-style kayak carrier, that's gonna mean it holds the boat more upright like you see here. That's gonna be great for saving space on our roof rack here. If we wanna get another carrier on the other side of the vehicle, it's gonna be easy to fit it. Or maybe we have something else like a box or a basket for our extra cargo. Either way, you're gonna have that room and that functionality for your roof rack. And just in general, I like how a J-style carrier holds the boat. It's gonna be cradling in the front, bottom, and back. And with the strap kit there, we get a really strong hold on our boat. So I'm not worried about it going anywhere. You do have a 75 pound weight capacity with this carrier, so just keep that in mind when you are loading it up with your boats. If you're looking for something heavier, maybe for a fishing kayak, typically a saddle style might be better for those, just the way it's gonna hold it, hold down. That's gonna be a little bit safer probably and easier to load up anyway. But this is gonna be great for our kayaks like we see here, and it's gonna get a good strong hold on them. The strap kit that comes with this is pretty basic. We've got our cam buckle straps, that have integrated points to run through the carrier. So that's nice to see that those are ready to go, have easy places to route, but they are just bare metal. They've got a little pad right here to protect your boat, but you can definitely get nicer ones. And on the bow and stern, you've just got a rope with an S hook. Not my favorite because you are gonna have to tie your own knots. So it's maybe a little less secure depending on how good of a knot tire you are. I personally like having just a cam buckle strap because I can feel it tighten as I pull it tight. And with the e-trailer strap kit, which I might recommend, you are gonna have those dog bone anchors that you can shut in your hood and your hatch if you don't have a great place for the S hook to dig into, kind of like we have here on our Q7 today. Getting your boat unloaded once everything's unstrapped is pretty simple. If you opted for the version of this that does not come with the Telos load assist arms, then you can just lift your kayak out. If you do have the load assist arms, you can hook them in and we can lower it down. And we'll show you all that set up a little bit more in depth later on in the video here. But for right now, we're just gonna get it kind of tilted out of the J-style carrier and into the cradles right here. I don't have to put much lift or force on it right there, so that's really nice to see, it's pretty easy. And we've got these little pull tabs right here. That's gonna release this and allow it to drop down a notch. And I'm just gonna ease it down, kind of one side at a time. And I'm not really putting any lift right here. I'm just kind of letting it fall naturally and letting it catch itself on the next stopping point so I don't have to do any of that heavy lifting myself. Once it gets a little bit lower here, I feel like I might have to kind of crouch down a bit to get it a more comfortable height. But it is nice to see that it gets low down like this because now at the lowest height, it's simple to just lift up and off of the load assist. With the kayak unloaded, we can see it's gonna attach around our crossbars with this plate and these two hand knobs. That's gonna hold it tight to the crossbar. It's not my favorite method of attaching just because it's gonna be harder to do. Not necessarily that it's hard, it just takes longer as opposed to something that just has a knob on the side like the Yakima JLo. The other thing with this is it isn't lockable. So, Someone could just come by, undo those hand knobs, and take it off. Not my favorite thing in the world, but it might not be a concern for you. It does fold down though when it's not in use. We've got this knob on the side, this little lever, and we can just unfold, fold this down, and re-throw that latch. And it's gonna be a lot more low clearance, low profile here. So in this state, it's only gonna be sticking up five inches from the top of the crossbar, so pretty low down. I don't think we should have any sort of clearance issues, but do watch out for it with your garage door at home if you do decide to pull in somewhere with low clearance like that. And you saw getting the kayak down from the carrier, especially with that load assist, is pretty easy. And getting it loaded up is gonna be the exact same thing. Let's check out how we do it now. 
Now getting this load assist set up is really simple. We've got this tab right here that'll align with the hole on the front of our carrier. So we'll just pop that in right here, tilt it down. We've got a portion right here that'll kind of bend and flex. And I've already got it set to the proper height for the legs here, but on the side, we've got these two hand knobs that will adjust this pole right here. So I've got that lowered down pretty much all the way. And then to get it to the very bottom where the foot is touching, I just had to loosen up this little clamp here. There we go. And that lets this foot slide out as well. So I just got it matched up to my other one over there and tighten it up this way to secure it right there. And then we're ready to get our kayak loaded up into the arms right here. So with where it's sitting right now, it's at a pretty good height. I'm actually also going to fold in the side mirror here. And then all we have to do is load this up, kind of going back and forth, one side at a time, or you can lift them both together. That will be a little bit more effort and muscle to do that. So if you want to, you can just kind of go back and forth and they'll go on those catches as you're easing it up the side there. Now, once you reach the top, from here, we can actually just kind of push it up and into place until it goes into the J-style carrier right there and it's resting and ready for the straps. And since the load assist system isn't actually built into the carrier, we can just pop this off and set it to the side. If you've got another set of these carriers on the other side of the vehicle, you can just transfer them over, load up that other kayak too, or set it to the side. Once everything's strapped down and secure, you're ready to hit the road. Now I like the system quite a bit. If you're looking for load assist and you need to carry more than one boat, this is gonna be a great way to do it because that load assist system isn't actually part of the carrier. It just latches in, you use it when you need it, and then set it to the side when you're done. So we can easily fit another set of these downloader carriers on the other side of the vehicle, bring those load assist arms over and load up a second boat. Compared to something like the Yakima Showdown, which takes up a lot more room on the roof, I do think that load assist system is easier to use, but if you're looking to carry more than just the one boat, it's not gonna work out, especially on this roof, because we don't have that space to fit two of those carriers side by side. So just based on what you need and what's gonna work best for your application, check out one of those options. But for me, I think this is a great way to get more than one boat on your roof, and it's gonna work well too. Thanks for watching.